all right welcome back finally sunday boho reveals reason for rain and thunderstorm in ocean rally reports that sunday Bo has spoken on the significance of the thunderstorm and rain that fell at the rally ground for yoruba nation in on in Oshun on Saturday. All right, meanwhile, Igbo who spoke through his spokesperson, Koiki Media, revealed that the rain has proven that God is in total support of Yoruba nation because if not for it, some agitators would have been attacked yesterday. After the Yaloja speech, the cloud was dark to rain so many times, we think God does. God does back not knowing that all he's doing is in our favor. All right, the the world have been an attack on the agitators yesterday. Is not for the rain. If not for the rain that started, which made Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbo find found his way to the Atauja of Oshobo, which was a secondary reason for the visitation. During the rally, it was reported that a DSS operative was arrested after he was caught trying to bug the vehicle of Sunday Igboho. A man named Mr. Shim Olainka was captured by the agitators who later confessed that he was sent by the federal government to take pictures of the vehicles that converged the agitators, including the vehicle of the great activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbo Osha. Mr. Shimola Inka, a resident of Oshobo, who is a DSS official, as has been working with the Department of State Service for about six years, was seen by the Yoruba Nation intelligence men. Of a truth, he wasn't beaten or tortured because he is a Yoruba man. He was released immediately just after the interrogation. The information of him being captured got to the DSS office, which made them come searching the vehicles parked in King Palace. They opened fire in the palace and uh, which made the agitators react to their gunshots. Some of them are Yorubas, so for this sake, they couldn't lay hands on them. Chief Sunday Igboho pleaded with the agitators not to fight with the DSS operatives since their men have been released even before they came to the palace. All right, and then no, that has been it. Well, according to what has been gathered, the DSS who was captured has said that, well, I was sent by the federal government to take pictures of Igboho's vehicle plate number. All right, and then on to what has been gathered, the Yoruba nation rally organized by the Ojujua people in Oshun State was successful. Yoruba activists and then main chief Adeyemo Sunday Igboho participated in the rally most of the people in the southwest described him as a brave and then courageous person. But after some people criticized him, his fight became more and more fierce. Killer S men in some areas of the southwest were driven out by Sunday Igboho and his men. Well, on Sunday, Igboho was greeted and welcomed by crowd who listened and paid attention to what he was saying. All right, and the meanwhile, it was gathered that he spoke for several hours, making people realize why the Yoruba people of the Southwest should embrace the Yoruba tribe. During the rally, a Department of State Security DSS official was alleged arrested while attempting to take photo of Chief Igboho's license plate number on Sunday, allegedly trying to relocate and then arrest him. During the demonstration, some comrades of the Yoruba nation were worried and he was questioned. All right, and then as it is, according to what has been gathered, the DSS officers named Mr. Shim Olayinka said he is working with the federal government under the leadership of DSS and he was sent by the government to attack Chief Igboho Sunday, the co-founder of the Yoruba Public. He said he was told to inspect the Sunday's 
car and take pictures of his license plate for easy identification. Sunday's media assistant Olayo Mikoiki said that they used GPS detectors to conduct a security check to check whether there is a microphone in Sunday Igboho's vehicle. He added that his findings have been sent to forensic experts to analyze the results they obtained after using GPS detectors. According to the agitator's media assistant, the alleged DSS officer was caught when he was trying to snap some vehicles that was brought to the venue. All right, and then that has been it on this one. Well, the truth remains that these set of people, you cannot arm them simply because they come in peace. <laughs> Everywhere they go, they go in peace. They're always coming in peace. Okay, well, a lot of people have actually reacted. So, well, according to Smith, John said, well, you useless Shimola Inka, just look at you. You are a Yoruba, you are sent, and you also decided to do it Ao or more linear while I eat to full. Okay, well, somebody has not been able to caution that one. All right, on that part. Okay, well, according to one Leulugu Christian said, We are really taking, we are really taking about Biafra. Okay, we are really taking about Biafra. You way be stupid, Yoruba. They talk thunder from heaven will kill you people. Okay, we are really talking about Biafra. I think that's what we meant to say. Hmm. Well, a lot of comments keep coming in. A lot of people will definitely had said a lot of things were well, relating to what we are saying and some might not be related. Well, uh, never mind. It has been taken. Well, the truth of the matter is that as far as the agitators and the agitation is concerned, the people have made up their minds that no going back. And that is what we have seen so far. Well, definitely a lot of, you know, no people would want to come to distract but no when god is with you that's what i always tell my people when god is with you nobody can be against you most especially when you are doing the right thing or uh, with what i've been gathered so far we can we can see and then we all know that sunday Igbo is fighting for the good of the land well it's not a big deal to ask well from where the old stuff started, Sunday Igbo has warned that, okay, fine, Fulani yes, men, we are not sending you finally out of our land. But the thing is, if you people will cooperate, if you people will be our friends, why not you can just leave the bush, come and stay in the in the town where people can see you. Let's live together as, lo as brothers and sisters. But this set of people, because of their evil agenda they will not accept to stay where people can see them they prefer to stay in the bushes to kidnap kill and all that and he has said that if that is the case you have to leave our land finally well a lot of things are actually being said onto this well my people what more can we say meanwhile let me have your take on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless